Taking just another moment to settle in to your mat. Allowing the mind and body to come into this moment. Preparing yourself for the practice of yoga. Take three more breaths before we get started here. Let those breaths be deeper and smoother. And really focus on the sensation of breathing. Great. So thanks so much for joining this morning. My name's Lucas. We're going to do a 55 minutes of vinyasa flow, all levels. Feel free to modify to suit your body and where you're at in this moment and today. Let's go ahead and start in a child's pose. Just soften into the mat, relaxing the forehead down, softening through the arms and the core. Go ahead and take three more breaths here. Just really tuning in to the body relaxing and yielding to the support of the ground. So for class today, we're gonna do uh, a warm up series about 10, 15 minutes. It's gonna ramp up into some sun salutations and variations, some vinyasa warrior flows and we'll do a bit more uh, slower, gentle stretching into the end. We're definitely gonna power up in this class, and it's also gonna be a very accessible class. Okay, you're welcome to return to this position at any point in time in the class, and I definitely encourage you to stay connected to your breath. So come up to a tabletop. Oh yes, and also there is uh, a Spotify link in the description of a playlist if you want to pull that up totally optional but it should be timed well for class okay also um you might want to have a block handy and keep that block at the top corner of the mat we'll come back to it at some point later in the class tabletop start with any intuitive movements here circular motions doesn't need to be anything in particular. Just move the body. Notice where you have some stiffness and some tightness. Moving the shoulders, the hips, the core. Just enjoying it. Good. Now tuck your toes and we're gonna hover the knees here. So spread your fingers real wide, hover the knees up. And feel how that engages the core real quick. Hold for three, for two, for one. Lower the knees, inhale, drop the belly, gaze forward. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the chin. Inhale, pull your chest forward, pressing into the hands. And exhale, tucking the tailbone. Inhale, tailbone points up, belly down. Exhale, wrap your shoulders around, hugging your chest to your navel. Go ahead and continue with these movements, following your own breath. Continue with the cat-cow alternations, alternating that press and shape of the spine, right? So let your breath guide your movements. The breath comes first, and then the movements follow. Go ahead and take a couple more, right? So during class today, the process of yoga is not about being flexible. It's not about exalting how flexible we are, but the process of becoming flexible and enjoying leveling up the body, okay? 
I'll come to a new your right foot back rock a bit on that heel rock that heel back and forth and then float the foot up reach your left hand gazes down inhale stretch exhale bring them in elbow to knee inhale reach it out and then draw it in let's do three more inhale extension and exhale flex reaching out and drawing in then go ahead and reach them out, hold, get them higher, gaze up at your thumb here, get them higher. And then take your left hand back, if it's accessible for you, take hold of that foot. We're not warmed up yet, so don't go too deep. Just give it a hold, give it a hold. All right, let it go. Sway the shoulders left and right. Now take your left foot back, rock back and forth on that heel. Pressing it back into the calf, coming forward into the toes. Float the foot up, reach your right hand forward, really reach, extend your spine long. And with an exhale, draw the elbow to the knee and reach them out. And bring it in. And let's do three more. Inhale out long. Exhale, draw it in. Reaching. And bringing the elbow to the knee. This time, reach them out long and hold. Gaze up at the thumb. Get them high, get them high. Good. Take your right hand back behind you. Bend the knee if you can catch hold of that foot. If not, don't worry about it. Let's gently hold on to it. Feel that calf stretch, the quad stretch. Good. Let it go. <clears throat> Walk your hands forward, keeping the hips over top of the knees. We're going to come to a puppy pose here. So take your forehead or your chin down to the mat. Just soften through the back. Letting the back soften down to the mat. Take two easy breaths here. And then walk your hands back into a neutral tabletop. Send your right foot long, flat to the mat. Take this left foot off the mat for a kickstand. Reach your right hand up. Check that your hand, your knee, and your foot are in a line. Option to hover that back leg, come into a full side plank. Okay, let's take this top hand, let's reach it through, and then reach it up, working into that spine, send it through, and reach it up. Good, now take this right hand and extend it long over your ear, hover your back leg, inhale, exhale, elbow to the knee, reach it out long, and then take it in. Good, come back through neutral tabletop, rock right over to the other side. Left foot long and flat to the mat, right foot off the mat. Go ahead and stack the shoulders. And then reach that top hand through, inhale it up. And then thread it through, just warming up the spine here. Reach it forward, nice long line there. Float that back foot, you got this. Draw the elbow to the knee, reach them out long one more time. Bring it together, warming up our hip flexors. Then come back to a neutral tabletop. Perfect. Go ahead and bring your hands a little bit farther forward. Shift your hips forward so that your shoulders are over top of your wrists. And then press back, hug your fingers down, hug your knuckles down, press their hips back. Arms are nice and long and active. And then we'll take this with the breath. Inhale forward and add back. Let's do a couple more of these. Warming up into the mind-body-back connection. And let's do one more. Good. Let's all shift forward now. Tuck your toes. Press your hips up, back, down dog. Reach your hips high. Bend your knees so those hips can get up a bit higher. You want to look like the top of a mountain. Breathing into your shape. And then begin to pedal out your dog. Bending one knee, pressing the opposite palm down into the mat. When you bend that knee, hug your chest towards that knee. All right. 
pulsing with it. Bringing the knee to the chest and the chest to the knee. Good. And come up onto your tippy toes and press your heels down. Come up onto your tippy toes, gracefully step the feet up to the top of the mat. Come to a halfway lift, take your hands to your shins or your thighs, flatten the back, take a couple breaths here, drawing the tailbone back, lengthening the head. Nice flat back. And then let's fold, bend into the knees, just sway a bit side to side. Then with the feet parallel, press down into your heels, roll up the spine, engage your core, circle the arms up. Bring them together and then lower the hands to your heart. Take a moment here, settle in and bring an intention to mind for your practice today. Breathing into that intention. Good, sweep the arms back, reach them up really high, come up onto your tippy toes, find your balance, inhale. Exhale, lower down those heels, forward fold. Halfway lift. Bring the hands down to the mat, step one foot back, then the other to plank pose. Hold your plank here, spread the fingers wide, press the palms down. Solid straight line. Feel your power. Inhale, exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, down dog. Good, let's do that three more times. Inhale, forward to plank. Exhale, press to down dog. Bend your knees, get your hips real high, flat back. And then shift forward to plank. Down dog. And plank pose. Once more, press it back to down dog. And then shift forward to plank here. We're going to lower slowly, so take a nice full inhale. Exhale, hug your elbows in. Option to lower the knees. Take it all the way down. And then with an inhale, hover your hands up, hover your feet, Shalambhasana, locust pose, gaze just a foot forward. Good, now take a deep inhale. Exhale, press your hands and your feet down, press your core down, peel the chest up. We're tucking the tailbone. The, my core is super tight right now. And then go ahead and lower one cheek down to the mat. Take a breath. And then hover everything up. Pick the hands up, pick the feet up. Get them high, get them high. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, press the feet down. Squeeze your hips together, tuck your tailbone. Lift the heart up. Straighten the arms as much as feels good for you. We want this yoga to feel good for you, eh? And then let's lower the opposite cheek down to the mat. Take your arms along your sides, point your fingers towards your toes. Now pick everything up. Get them high, get them high. Let's go ahead and bend the knees. Option here to take hold of the ankles. Kick, lift the chest up. Maybe you rock back and forth a bit with the breath. Maybe you just hold on to those shins. Let the quad stretch out. All right, let go of that. Float your hands forward into a flying Superman pose. And let's fly to the left and fly to the right. Good. Stack your palms underneath your forehead. Lower the forehead down. Rock your heels left and right. Releasing the low back. Just let them rock left and right, left and right. 
And then rock your heels in and out. In and out. Good. Now take your hands underneath of your chest. Press back to a child's pose. We're not going to stay here. Then shift forward to cobra. Inhale. Exhale back to down dog. Now from down dog, let's bend the knees, make the back really straight, and then press the heels down. Okay, let's do that again. Bend the knees, opening up through the armpits and the shoulders, and straighten the legs. One more time, keep the back super flat, bend the knees, then straighten the legs, come up onto your tippy toes, press the heels down, press the hips back, lengthen your dog. Good. Now bend your knees, look forward. With an exhale, walk, step, or float up to the top. Find a halfway lift. And then a fold. Press into your heels, root to rise. Take the arms up and together. And then take them to your heart. Inhale, full extension. Take them up. Come up onto your tippy toes. Reach, 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 find your balance. Reach your fingertips up nice and high, inhale. Exhale, heels down, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the mat, bend the knees, press and float or step back. Lowering down halfway, hugging the elbows in or all the way. Shift forward to a cobra or to an up dog like so. And press back to down dog. Take three breaths here. Super present to the feeling, to the sound of the breath. And bend your knees, inhale, look forward. With the exhale, press and float or step, halfway lift and fold. Press into your heels, roll up the spine, take the arms up high. And exhale the hands to the heart. Let's do one more like that. Inhale, sweep the arms up, point through the fingers, come up onto your tippy toes. Reach, 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 inhale. Exhale, swan dive forward. Halfway lift, plant the hands, press and float, or step back. Lowering through your vinyasa, choose your own adventure here. And meet me in down dog. Take another full breath cycle here. And bend your knees, prepare. With the exhale, step or float, halfway lift, and fold. Good, now sweep your arms back behind you. Sit the hips, reach forward, knees are bent, chair pose. We want this nice thunderbolt shape. Feet parallel, make sure you can see your big toes. Take your hands to your heart, lengthen your spine, bring your feet together. Inhale, exhale, twist to your right. You can hook the elbow outside of the thigh or you can put the elbow in between the thighs. Sitting as deeply as feels good for you. You want to split the arms, split the arms. Take another full breath. And then come on up to a halfway lift, straighten the legs. And fold. Take opposite elbows for ragdoll pose. Sway a bit side to side, shake the head. Yes and no. Now come up onto your tippy toes again, drive your forearms down. Maybe you just hover the heels for a second. Maybe you do one heel, then the other. 
Good. And then release the arms. Halfway lift and fold. Let's rise all the way up here. Reach the arms up nice and parallel. Sit the hips back, chair pose. Take your hands together at your heart, lengthen your spine. Make sure the feet are zipped up nice and tight. And then twist to your left. Prayer twist on this side. Drawing your top shoulder back and your bottom ribs through. Take another nice breath cycle here. And then come to a halfway lift, flat back. And fold. Let's do that again, halfway lift. And fold, take Padagustasana, take your two peace fingers around your big toes. Draw your torso down with your biceps. You can have a slight micro bend in the knees. Sway the head and then straighten the legs. Point the tailbone up and breathe. Good, let's take a halfway lift. And then take the hands down to the mat, step back to a plank pose. High to low plank. Inhale, broaden the collar. And exhale, press back to a down dog. Now from down dog, let's take our right hand to our right shin and then reach it forward, shift forward a little bit, and then press it back. Take it up to the top of the mat. Take your left hand to your left shin. Then three limbed plank, and bring it back. And then back to down dog, good. Now take your right hand to your left shin, gazing under that left armpit for two easy breaths. Keep those hips nice and high. Take that hand back, left hand, right leg. Gazing up towards the ceiling. Take another breath here. And then take that hand back, bend the knees, inhale, look forward. Exhale, press and float, halfway lift and fold. Sweep the arms back, sit into your chair pose. Inhale, exhale, we stand. Good. Inhale, reach your arms up high. Exhale, elbows down, chest up, cactus. Let's do that again. Inhale up. Exhale, broaden the collar, tilt the chin. Let's do one more like that. Nice inhale. And exhale, look up. Good. Inhale, take the arms up high, sweep them back, and sit into your chair pose. Come up onto your tippy toes again. Find your balance here. Sit a bit deeper. Inhale. Exhale, heels down, fold. Halfway lift. Hands down, bend the knees, press and float, or step Vinyasa. Inhale your right foot up high. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose around your spine. Inhale, send it up. Exhale, knee to your right elbow. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, knee to your left elbow. Hold it there or straighten that leg long, spin your back foot down, find a fallen triangle. Ground the hand, inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step that foot up to the top. Let's lower our back knee, reach the arms up, slide the hips forward, exalted low lunge. Let's lean back, take the arms down and shift forward, sweeping forward and up, and back and down. One more time, sweeping forward and up, 
and back and down. Tuck your back toes. This time, sweep forward and straighten to that back leg, coming into a high lunge. Inhale. Exhale, lean forward about 45 degrees. Inhale up. Exhale, take the arms out into a T, twist to your right. Inhale up to center, reach the arms. Exhale, lean forward. Inhale to center. Exhale, arms in a T, twist to your right, get low. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, lean forward. Inhale up. Exhale, twist to your right. Long fingertip to fingertip. Inhale forward. Exhale, lean forward. Inhaling up. Plant that back heel, warrior one. And then open up to warrior two. Take a moment, set it up. Front knee and front toes tracking in the same direction. Let's lean forward, take that front forearm to the front thigh, hand can come to the mat or to a block if you like. Top arm starts long by the ear. Like reaching with this top arm. Then if you wanna take a bind, you can wrap this arm behind you. You want to take a half bind you can take your front elbow press it into the knee hand to the heart gaze up draw that top shoulder back tuck the bottom hip in take another breath and then we're going to windmill the arms open warrior two flip that front palm reach forward scoop it up and back inhale reverse warrior keep that front knee over top of the front ankle This back hand can wrap around. Inhale fully. The exhale, frame that front foot. Take it all the way down. Step back. You can pause and plank for a breath. And then lowering through your vinyasa. Shine the heart. Pull it forward. And with an exhale, press your hips back. Good work. Inhale that left foot up high. Exhale, knee to nose around the spine. Inhale, send it up and back. Exhale, knee to your left elbow. Inhale up high. Exhale, the knee to your right elbow. Stay here or straighten it long, back heel down. Press your hips up and reach and gaze up. Good. Pl plant that hand, three-legged dog. And step that foot up. Low lunge. And then lower your back knee. Sweep the arms up. Lean your hips forward. Gaze up. Exalted. Easy power pose here. And then shift your hips back. Lower the arms. Sweep forward. Lead with the chest. Take the arms up and back, head, chest, arms, sweeping up, and back, inhale, and exhale, perfect, tuck your back toes, this time when you sweep up, straighten that back leg, Anjani Asana, find your balance here, inhale, exhale, lean forward, 45 degrees, inhale up, Exhale, arms out into a T, twisting to your left. Inhale up, chest forward. Exhale, lean forward. Inhale up. Exhale, arms out into a T, get low, reach, reach. Inhale. Exhale, we lean. Reach it up. And twist to your left. Inhale up. 
and lean forward and take it straight up. Lower your back heel, warrior one. Open up to warrior two. Press your feet down into the mat, hugging the muscle to the bone and energetically draw up this support from your mat into your core. Extend it long through your fingertips, soften the shoulders. Gaze over your front middle fingers with intention. What was that intention that you set earlier? Bring it to mind. And then lean forward into side angle. Again, this hand can come down to the mat if you'd like, or you can ground it into the thigh. Pressing into the knife edge of this back foot, send this energy line up the side of your body, extending through these fingers here. Good, take this top arm, wrap it behind your back. Whatever bind you wanna go for, you can take it. If you wanna go for this half bind, press the elbow into the knee, hand to the heart, gaze up, draw that top shoulder back. Take a couple easy breaths. Then we're gonna windmill the arms open to warrior two, nice and smooth. Flip that front palm, inhale, scoop it forward, reverse deeply in. This back arm can wrap around behind the back if you like. Take a deep inhale. And with the exhale, frame your front foot. Take it down, take it down all the way or stop and plank for a breath. And then follow your adventure. Let's take three breaths here in down dog. Inhale fully. Inside out. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Take one more like that. Breathe it in and roar it out. Good. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, make your way up. Halfway lift. And fold, sweep your arms back. Reach them forward, chair pose. Inhale. Exhale, stand, bring the hands together at your heart. Find your balance. Feeling the connection between your palms. Stand nice and tall. Let's sweep the arms back, bend the knees, chair pose. Inhale, sit a bit deeper. Exhale, straighten the legs and fold. Halfway lift. Plant the hands, press and float, or step. Vinyasa. Inhale your right foot up. Bend the knee, stack the hip. Get that knee high, inhale. With exhale, step it to the top of the mat. Spin your back heel. Rise to warrior one. And open up to warrior two. From warrior two, we're gonna straighten that front leg, bring the hands together up overhead, gaze up. And then come back to warrior two. You can lengthen your stance a bit here. Inhale, sky archer, gaze up. Exhale, gaze forward, front knee over top of your front ankle. Inhale, straighten everything up, gaze up. And exhale, warrior two. Let's do two more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And this time, inhale. And take this front toe here, turn it in parallel. Take a deep breath in. And then with your exhale, swan dive forward, send your hips back, heart forward, folding, folding. From here, you can walk your hands further back or take hold of the feet or ankles. 
Any other variations are always welcome. And breathe. Take your left hand directly under your gaze. Reach your right arm up. Draw your hips together. Take that right hand down, left hand up. And then switch. And switch. And then take both of your hands to the front of the mat. Point your front toes forward, low lunge. Exhale, step that foot back. Down dog. Inhale your left foot up high, bend the knee, stack the hip. Squaring the shoulders down as that knee rises up. And then step it forward. Rise up into warrior one. And open up to warrior two. Lengthen your stance a bit. Inhale, straighten that front leg. Bring your arms together, gaze up. Exhale to the lunge. Inhale, take it up. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Reach them up. And lunge. Good, let's do one more. And this time, when you take your hands together, turn that foot in, feet are parallel. Take your hands behind your back for that bind. Interlace the hands, bring the palms together. Inhale, draw your shoulder blades together. And exhale, hinge forward. Bring these arms up overhead. And breathe. Have a slight micro bend in the knees. Press the toes down. Let your breath gradually bring you deeper into the stretch. Good. Take your hands down to the mat. Walk them to the front. Frame that front foot, which points forward, low lunge. Step back to plank pose. Inhale, down dog or vinyasa. Take a nice full breath here. Get your hips real high. Then bend the knees, inhale, gaze forward in yoga and in life. And then with the exhale, engage, make your way up, halfway lift. And fold, sweep your arms back, sweep them up, sit back, chair pose. Inhale, exhale, hands together, and let's stand up. Good. Reach your right knee up. And let's place that ankle on top of your left thigh, bending into your standing leg, lengthening your tailbone for a figure four here. And then stand up straight, float your right foot back, warrior three, and then take it all the way back, warrior two. We're gonna windmill the arms open. Flip your front palm, scoop it in, reverse it back, reverse. And exhale, side angle. Reverse warrior. Side angle. Now reverse your warrior, straighten your front leg, peel your front toes up, gaze up at that hand. Good, come to warrior two, shorten your stance a bit. 
and then straighten the front leg, reach forward, draw your hips in, Trikonasana. This front hand could come down to a block. Okay, you wanna press your back heel down, draw that energy line up into the pelvis and then send it into your front heel. So we have that strong triangular foundation in our Trikonasana triangle pose here. And breathe. Good, now that we already have this block in our hand here, you can stay here or you can take that block forward about a foot and then shift your weight, float that back foot up. Good, stack your shoulders, stack your hips, and find a half moon shape. And then let's float that foot back, take this front hand, inhale, reach it up, straighten your front leg, deep inhale, charging up. And with the exhale, let's take it all the way down, stepping back, lowering through our transition. Inhale, shines the heart. Exhale, down dog. Bend your knees, look up, inhale. Exhale, press and float to the top. Halfway lift and fold. Let's rise all the way up, full extension. Lift your left knee up. Take your left ankle to your right thigh. Bend into that standing leg. Send your hips back. Lengthen the spine. Lean forward a bit. Figure four. You should get a nice... Stretch in your obliques here, the side of that hip. And straighten into the leg, send your left leg back, nice and parallel to the ground, warrior three. And then we're gonna open up to warrior two, nice and smooth. So float that foot back, spin the arms open. Flip your front palm, scoop it and reverse it. And side angle. Reverse warrior. And side angle. Good, now reverse the warrior, straighten that front leg, curl those toes up, gaze up. Nice full side body stretch. And then come to warrior two, shorten your stance a bit. And straighten that front leg again. Hug the hips in, reach cock and tilt the pelvis. Hand extends and then we hinge forward. Let's take that block again to the front hand. Press your heels down, lengthen both sides of the torso and breathe. Good, stay here, or you can come up onto those back toes, shift your weight forward, take this block about a foot or two forward, and stack the hips, stack the shoulders. Added challenge to gaze up at that hand. Good, now we're gonna float that foot back. Take this front hand, take it up, take it up, straighten your front leg, inhale. Ride your exhale all the way down through your flow. And then come to down dog. And from down dog, we're gonna take a child's pose. So go ahead and lower your knees down. Take the knees nice and wide. Uncurl your toes, send the hips back to your heels. And just soften into it. You can Rock the forehead side to side a bit. Good. Now sit back, take your feet out in front of you, come to a wide-legged position here. So seated, uh, wide-legged stance here. Take the leg, legs nice and wide. Now some of you are gonna be able to just walk your hands out in front and fold forward, 
opening up the legs. That's great. I personally like to take my hands behind me, press my chest forward, draw the shoulder blades together, lengthen the spine. Feeling that stretch in the inside hips. Take another breath here. Good. Now bend your knee. Take this inside of your right foot here. Now square towards your knee. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, left hand's going to reach towards that left foot. Take hold of it or take hold of the ankle. Your right hand's going to reach up. Press your tailbone down, lengthen your spine, reach up. Now come back up to center. Take this right hand down behind you. Reach this left hand up. Press your front foot flat. Press your hips up. Start laser pose. Inhaling deeply. Good. With the exhale, come down. We're going to go right back up. Inhale, take it up. Press your hips up. And exhale, lower down. One more time. Press it up. Let this left hand really reach. Feel that line, beautiful crescent line of stretching. Good. And then let's lower it down. Let's square our body to our straight leg here. Bend this right knee, point it up to the ceiling. We're going to take Marichi Asana. So you can take your left hand behind you, straighten your spine, wrap this right hand around the knee. So bring the foot into the hips as much as, as close as possible. Take this right hand around. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you reach that left hand and catch hands. Lengthen the sternum, drawing the shoulder blades together. Good. Now gently release. Take the right foot out nice and long here. Take a breath. And now let's take the left foot into the right thigh. I'm going to square towards our bent knee now. Inhale, reach up, press the tailbone down. Exhale, right hand to right foot, left arm up by your bicep. <laughs> Just like in triangle, lengthen both sides of the torso. So we're expanding into the stretch. Awesome. You just take this left hand behind you. Press your hips up. Your front foot's going to come nice and flat. So you're on that foot and on your knee, you're reaching your right hand up and back. Reach real far behind you. And then lower it down. We're going to go right back up. Inhale, press your hips up. Take your right hand back. And then lower it down. One more time. Get them high. Get them high. And lower it down. Good. Square your body towards your straight leg. Take your left knee up high, right hand behind you. Press your spine up. Then go ahead and wrap this left arm around the leg. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you take this foot in real close. Catch hands. And then draw your sternum up to the ceiling. And breathe. Good. Now, let him go. Take Dandasana staff pose. Reach your arms up high so that you are in an L shape. Shoulders above your hips. Take a couple breaths here. Get your back real straight. Inhale. Then exhale. You're going to take your hands to your feet. Bend your knees as much as possible. It's really, if, you, if your legs can be straight, that's great but it's not necessary for the purpose of the pose here. So we're gonna press our, our chest forward to the feet. So we're trying to lengthen the spine with our inhales. With the exhale, you can fold a bit deeper. Inhaling, pulling your chest forward, lengthening the spine. Exhale, going a bit deeper. Once more, inhale. 
and exhale, just soften into it. Take a nice breath here, relaxing into it. Very good. Now come on down to the back. We're gonna move into some back bends here. Feet in front of the seat. Press the feet down, raise your hips up, raise your hips up. And then lower it down, lower it down. Take a breath here. And rise on up into bridge pose again. Press the feet down, get your hips high, interlace your hands. Option to roll over the arms. Press the arms down to leverage the torso up and breathe. And release the arms, soften the chest, roll down the spine. Rock your knees left and right here, windshield wipers. Point your knees straight up. Go ahead and rise up into a bridge pose or a wheel pose, your choice. If you want to take your, your hands behind you, rise up onto the top of your head, set it up. And press your hips on high. Tucking your chin, lowering down, rolling down the spine. Crack those knees side to side. And then take your knees in. And let's take supine twist. So rock your knees over to your right. back into center. Give them a squeeze. Take them to neutral. Rock them over to the left. Arms come out. Gaze to your right. Feeling the support of the ground as both of your shoulders soften and melt into the mat. Actively relaxing into the pose. Taking two more full breath cycles here. Let that last breath be Really long, deep inhale, smooth, audible exhale. Using that yogic breathing. And bring your knees up into center. Let's circle the knees. However you like to circle them, take them in some circles. And then circle it the opposite direction. Perfect. Take a happy baby by holding on to the soles of the feet. And you may gently rock front and back or side to side. And then take the knees into a gentle ball. And then reach them out long, softening through the shoulders and the torso. Take up some space here. Finding yourself in the center line, that middle point. And actively scanning through the body and 
bringing any areas of tension into relaxation. After any physical practice, the, the body is, likes to tense up to protect. So we can bring a gentle smile to the face just to let the body know that it's a good time to relax. And by relaxing, we can bring some greater health and restoration and healing into the body so that we can recover quickly, become stronger, be more relaxed throughout the rest of our day. Continuing to draw your attention into this moment. Letting this be a closing meditation. Whenever the mind drifts, bring it gently back to the breath and the body. Noticing the rhythm and pulse of the heart from each breath, sending fresh nutrients, oxygen, energy, all the way through the body, feel into that. And begin to take deep three-part breaths, expanding the lungs in three dimensions. Feeling the be the belly, the chest, and the shoulders expand with the breath. Good, and wing wiggle your fingers and toes, rocking on your heels, reaching the arms up overhead on your own time, and drawing the knees into the chest, wrapping your arms. saying thank you to this form for being able to carry out this yoga practice, this movement, and then making your way, rolling over to one side, or rocking right up to seated. Let's take a breath together to close. Exhale fully. Take a deep breath in and let it all go. Take the hands to the heart. Thank you so much for moving and breathing and tuning in. And uh, the next. May you stay present and have a 
awesome rest of your day. So have a wonderful Wednesday. Again, this has been Yoga with Lucas, uh, with Lucas. So thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy. Tomorrow, there will be a, another class at 10 a.m. It's going to be a power flow, all levels flow that we just did. So tomorrow, we're going to move a lot faster, and we're going to do um, a lot of arm balances. It's going to be fun. Please drink lots of water. Eat lots of fruits and vegetables. Take care of yourselves. Get out in nature. Okay, I'm not seeing the chat, so I think I created this live stream in a different way than I have before, but I will go and take a look at it, and um, if you did send me a chat, then I will respond to that. So thanks. Have a great day. <laughs> Peace and light, friends. <laughs>